Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator. I have had a bit of a long break, it was quite unintentional. <laughs> we went over the data cap limit, uh, yes, data is something that is capped in the Philippines, we have approximately 100 gigabytes a month to use, uh, but we also had our wedding this month, which meant my girlfriend's family was over here and they don't have internet at their house, so it was like, Download all the apps you want, it's it's free rain time, <laughs> and you know, that's fine, but uh, they did eat up our data cap, I wasn't prepared for that, and uh, our ISP shut us down for about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, I was able to schedule a bunch of content and kind of hold out for a little while, but it did not last uh, long enough, apparently, so I'm going to go ahead and try and play a little bit of catch up now. <laughs> Um, just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not dead. A few people on Twitter were like, are you quitting? What's happening? And that's not the case at all. Don't you worry. If I do quit, you will see a video uh, quite similar to this one, probably with tears in my eyes and a pretty good reason for quitting. But that is not in the cards as far as I'm concerned. I've been doing YouTube for three years. I haven't missed an upload for about two years. So I was really, really disappointed in myself um, and my ISP. <laughs> For allowing this to happen. I did call them about every day and I got told, you know, wait two to three days, sir, wait two to three days, and I'm like, I've been waiting two to three days. Does anybody over there give a shit? No, not really. But um, <clears throat> that's customer service in the third world for you, I do suppose. Nobody in the Philippines really wants to do their job, they're just there to collect a paycheck, and that is pretty apparent. So, PLDT, big one for you right here. <laughs> Uh, thank you for getting me back online eventually, but man, that, that was a rough week. I was thinking about going to an internet cafe or something similar and getting some videos uploaded there, but at uh, 40 cents an hour, I'm not sure how long I would actually be sitting there to get the videos uploaded. I have started compressing the videos uh, a lot more. Hopefully that's not too noticeable, uh, but it's basically just so we don't go over that 100 gigabyte cap ever, ever again. <laughs> and I can get enough videos uploaded that uh, it's not going to be a problem. If we do go offline, nobody's going to notice anything. It's like the magic of scheduling. So I was scheduled for a little while, about a week and a half ahead, but that was not enough to hold out. Um, so it's been about five days since the last video, and instead of just popping back on and starting uploads again, I wanted to just sit down and explain to maybe some of the people that were worried. I know. Out of 900 and almost 40, there's probably only 10 or 12 people that consistently watch my videos. But if you are one of them, I do appreciate that a whole, whole lot. Um, Project Zomboid is going to continue. I have some very big plans you're going to see uh, within the next couple episodes. That's really, really exciting. Uh, Pokemon, as always, has been a big part of my channel. I plan to do some monotypes, some more random battles. I've also been looking at another Nuzlocke, which is uh, pretty exciting to me. Top 10 lists, oh my god, those perform super well on my channel. So I'm going to be attempting to sit down and create some more, but they are just really time consuming. And if you're making a video for every single day, it uh, it gets kind of hard to get the time. You know, I got a wife, I got <laughs> real life to deal with, so I'll do what I can. That That is what I can promise you. Uh, I really do want to get back into the, the top 10 list though. Craft the World has not ended. Um, I had a couple comments on Twitter like, we want to see more Craft the World. Uh, so Craft the World, Reassembly, Grav, we're going to be coming back to all those. Those have not moved into the uh, completed Let's Plays of my channel quite yet. They are still in, uh, in production as it were. So you guys can just uh, hold on for a little bit longer. Please and thank you so very much. Um, my wife has been doing a lot of stuff with me recently on the channel. She also has her own channel which she started. It's a, a drawing and coloring channel called Fun Art for Kids. So if you could go subscribe to that, I would be super, super appreciated. There is a link in the description. And uh, yeah, just show her some support, show her some love so she doesn't get uh, discouraged in these early days. Because I know when I started YouTube, I was here uploading for about two months before anybody started watching my videos at all besides myself, which was Super frustrating, but it was also uh, a good experience, kind of, to see what, what, what's your metal? What are you made of? You know what I mean? 
Um, so I basically talked myself into like, I'm just uploading these for me now. This is a chronicle of my gaming. <laughs> and it's evolved a bit uh, since that. I have become more of an entertainer and uh, put more of a focus on creating a story for people who are viewing. Brandar, oh yes, we've got some big plans for him as well. Um, I'm also working on another character for when Brandar's story comes to an end, but that is uh, not really something that's going to happen <laughs> anytime soon. So, I hope you guys are enjoying my uh, content. Uh, please let me know if there's anything that you would like to see. I'm not great at taking requests, and I do apologize for that. I get around to it when I get around to it, and... Um, yeah, a lot of times I'm just like, this would be fun to play and kind of sweep requests aside, which is not the best thing to do. I know people have some stuff that they do want to see for sure, for sure, and uh, eventually it will be there, I do promise you. I've got uh, a few zombie survival games in the list. Um, there's like one that's text-based and really cool. I can't recall what it's called at the moment. Cataclysm, DDA, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead has been requested by one of my longtime subscribers. I just went and looked what it was called. It is sitting on my desktop and I'm trying to figure out like how to do anything. <laughs> it's really really in depth and uh, difficult to get a grasp on so I just want to make sure that I'm not pooping out videos you know. I want to make sure that the video is uh, something that somebody can either learn some something with or at least get some entertainment from. So that is always kind of been the goal with the channel. And I do appreciate your patience in this time of transition. It has been quite a wild month for the Dayton Does, but now things are uh, starting to settle back in. I'm still looking to make some paid editing work and some paid writing work. And uh, YouTube has cut monetization just a little bit, so it's never really something that I depended on heavily. But uh, now I can depend on that even less. So <laughs> I'm not going to be throwing up more ads on my video I do see like a lot of youtubers that are like oh well ads every five minutes then because then you'll make up the lost monetization but if you don't have ad block enabled I definitely do appreciate that and uh, I definitely don't want to piss you off <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna be doing that I personally don't have ad block enabled and I've noticed that uh, around YouTube a lot of the bigger channels are just like mm, ads five ads in the video it's fine no not for me <laughs> I've, I've stopped watching the vast majority so while that's unfortunate I do get my entertainment in other ways ie video games I've been working with uh, quite a few game devs so you should expect to see a few different reviews coming up that's gonna be really really exciting and uh, I'm trying to shove those indie games back in there like I said with the hundred gigabyte cap uh, it's really difficult to get the uh, more more AAA titles in there, you know. If you're if you're downloading a game that's 50 or 60 gigabytes, holy shit, that's most of my cap gone already, and I don't have any any room left to upload. So that's really unfortunate. I do appreciate the indie devs who are making games that are like 300 megabytes, and then I can easily uh, download the, those at my leisure and play them to my heart's content. So. Things like Rust, uh, GTA 5, still installed on my computer. Maybe we'll take a look back at those uh, if if something catches my interest with it. Uh, right now, Rust is looking pretty much at a standstill. G same with GTA 5. I'm kind of waiting for what's next. Um, something big that will catch my eye. There's been uh, some Far Cry releases and stuff, and I go, mm, maybe, but it, it's not enough to grab me quite yet. I do like those... Uh, Adventure RPGs, RTSs. I haven't done many RTSs on the, the channel, basically because I think it would be too long form. But with the success of Project Zomboid, which is going day by day, almost 30 minute videos every single day, um, I'm thinking about RTS videos and maybe that would be an okay thing. If you would like to see it, please do let me know. Uh, Age of Wonders is probably my favorite one of all, and while it's a little bit old, um, I would be happy to go back and play Age of Wonders, Age of Wonders 2, Age of Wonders 3, uh, I think Age of Wonders 3 just released a new expansion, uh, or at least there's one expansion that I don't have, so that would be a great excuse to buy it. <laughs> Anyways, I do appreciate you guys so much, thank you so so much for paying any attention to my channel at all. Uh, we're coming up on a thousand subscribers, which is just fucking mind blowing to me, four digits boy, tell you what. 
Uh, it can get a little discouraging to look around and see, like, you know, 100,000, million subscriber, whatever, but uh, as for something that I never thought would get off the ground, especially in those first two months, <laughs> I was just uh, floundering about, and now now we're, we're doing things, you know? I've, I've got the eyes of some people, which is really, really appreciated, especially if you are one of those people. I, I'm here to please. <laughs> please let me know what you would like, and I, w I would be happy to do that. Um, Dayton Does has always been a channel that kind of just like, oh, I do whatever I want, you know, and don't take so many orders, but um, maybe that's not the right way to go. If you have a special request, I should be, I should be fulfilling that, I do believe. Anyways, friends, I've rambled long enough, I do think. Thank you so much if you've watched this far. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this video, uh, found it informative in, in any way. If you're in the Philippines, please, please stay away from PLDT and Globe and all the rest of the ISPs because they're just fucking trash. <laughs> uh, uh, those likes and subscriptions and comments um, really do help my channel get out there and we can grow even bigger. This thing is going to be fucking massive. Even if it takes me 20 years, I don't care. I'll be here a fucking old man still doing the same shit. At least that's, that's what I hope, you know? Um, so thank you guys for motivating me. It really does mean a lot. It means the whole world to me. And I, I just love YouTube and the community that I've been able to create with it. So big props to you guys. Um, thank you for listening to my ramblings. I'll see you tomorrow with some more content and uh, we will we will keep this train rolling finally after a brief stopover. <laughs> Thank you again. I'll see you in the next one friends and until then. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you my friends.